Many people ask me, what is it that I love most in my life? And what is it that I hate? Well, let me tell you. Something I hate more than anything else in the whole wide world is right in front of me. My name's Ethan Nestor, and I'm about to eat a bunch of jello. And I fing hate jello. I have in front of me 12 different <laughs> jellos <laughs> that I have to eat. Look at how they. Look how they jiggle. Ooh, these ones don't jiggle as much. Some of these are, um, are traditional American jellos, and some of them are different jellos, like this. Oh, I shouldn't look at it. That. <laughs> Don't worry, I've already forgotten it and that's not even a joke. So, a long time ago, I did a video on a channel that no longer exists where I had to eat a half gallon or a gallon of jello of, of jello for some I don't remember why, but I hated it. I hate jello. I don't like the consistency of it. It makes me want to vomit. It's one of the only foods that I like really 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 hate. So today I'm going to eat a bunch of them. We're going with this one first, number 4. This is a classic, I can already tell. Oh yeah, it's a classic. <laughs> I hate the consistency so much. <laughs> it's so terrible. It makes me wanna throw up. I should eat the whole thing. For the love of content. I don't want to eat the whole thing. I think that this is a blue raspberry. What was this, number four? Number four! Berry blue! Great, I can't, I, I won't be able to, I just can't, I won't be able to do the whole thing. The green's really calling to me though. Look at how, look at how she wobbles. It has to. Uh. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> lime has to be lime. 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 Yes. Let's go over to this side of the table for a second. This looks. Horrible, and I'm not excited to try it. I'll remind you guys that it's not necessarily the flavor of jello that I hate It's the consistency of the jello that I hate so much. This is 12 <laughs> I think it's green tea or like matcha or something. It's so bad. I don't want to eat it anymore. I saw the number and obviously the color, but I don't know the flavor. What? Oh. Green grass? Green grass is not a flavor. Ingredients. Green grass jelly, 100%. What does that mean? Let's go for another green. I'm hoping this isn't green grass. Oh, it's so solid. Oh, it's so solid. <laughs> oh, look at the shape. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I must have fucking died right then. I have no fucking idea what that is. This is green tea flavor. It doesn't taste like green tea. It doesn't taste like green tea. It tastes like bad. Let's go with number one. I think I already know what this is. This has to be like a cherry flavor. It's the red guy. Ugh. Oh God. Uh huh. <laughs> I came really close to throwing up. Red. 
figured it out. Strawberry banana? Red strawberry banana? It's not cherry. Oh, yeah, that's lemon. That's lemon, not right. It has to be. I get it, actually. That makes sense. It's island pineapple. It was the citrusiness of it that was throwing me off. Number five. I even, even from me licking the stick, I didn't like the flavor at all. Oh, it's triggering a memory. What is that? Uh, it almost tastes coconutty, but I feel like one of these are coconut because these are all white. That's purple. What is purple? Eggplant taro flavor. I don't even know what that is. I just don't know about this whole thing. Here we are, the final frontier. I'm going to take a crack at this green guy again. This is number seven. What is this flavor that I'm tasting? It's not good. It's not good. I don't know what this is. Pandan? What is that? It's not a good flavor. I don't, I don't enjoy it. All right, we're going with this. Number 10. This literally smells like nothing. Be coconut. Coconut! <laughs> you got it! Coconut! Oh, fuck! Alright, I'm gonna do this other one. Number eight. This smells like chemicals. Windex. Oh, it's lychee. Do you pronounce it lychee or lychee? We're down to the final two. Six and 11. All right. <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> uh, smells bad. Oh. Oh, it's so pungent. I gotta think outside the box. What could possibly be in this yellow substance? It doesn't taste like anything that I know, which means I have to go to what I don't know. Okay, Google, what's the most popular fruit in Vietnam? They say jackfruit is one of the most popular fruits in Vietnam. In spite of the spiky crust and the large shape, the sweet taste and the mm -hmm. amazing smell often attract people who have a sweet tooth. Mm. To find out more, look for the link in your Google Home or Google Assistant app. Okay, okay. Thank you. It's jackfruit flavored. Six. It's mango. <laughs> it's mango. The final jello. I have, huh. I don't like the way that it tastes, but I do like this thing quite a lot. And I swear, if this is correct, I did not see the flavor on the ground. I swear to God. I feel like this is strawberry shortcake. Fuck, it's almond. <laughs> Almonds don't taste like this though. But they don't, they don't. You're shaking your head yes, and you're going, yes, they do. Yes, you do, you dumb fuck. But Jocelyn, they just don't taste like that. I've gone through the jellos and the jellies. So now it's time for me to rate the things, all right? Green tea flavor, 
C tier. Strawberry banana. A a tier. And keep in mind, they're all F tier in my mind because I fucking hate all of them. Pandan flavor. D tier. Berry blue. S tier. Coconut flavor. F tier. Taro flavor. D tier. Island pineapple. B tier. Mango. B tier. Almond. B tier. Lychee. D tier. Lime. S tier. And finally, green grass jelly. One of the worst things I've ever had in my life. Put this in whichever ranking you make that is below F. Now, you might be thinking, Ethan, there's still more jello left. My friends, you're right. There is more jello left. And it looks like this. That's right. The jello of all jellos. We've mixed every flavor to create this beast that you see before you. This guy right here. So now. There's like a film it took off its skin. Oh God. I don't want to eat this. It's overwhelming. <laughs> oh. oh no, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Today, I overcame the Jello, and I want you all to know that if you have a beast in your life, such as Jello is for me, you can overcome it. All it takes is a little perseverance, a little bit of belief, and a lot of bravery. Someone call me a hero, and I think that that's an apt way to describe me. And my legacy will live on, all right? And yours might not but in the way that mine will because I'm just so brave and important and I have so many good adjectives. <laughs> and Spencer agrees. Spencer, tell them about all the adjectives that describe me in a positive manner. Yeah, there's that one. That one, yep. Any others? Just the, oh, there's a third. All right, don't forget to go out there and really grab life by the horns. Because if you don't do it, the horns just might grab back. My name's Ethan, and today, I'm Master Jello.